Hello, everyone, and thank you for tuning into this episode of Understanding Healthcare. I'm Steve Nicotopoulos, a, ca- a staff member here at Can TV Chicago, and we appreciate you tuning in. This is a special presentation to discuss the new Affordable Care Act and how it affects you as Chicagoans. Uh, we're going to cover a series of topics over the next 25 minutes. This is a live call in show, so feel free to call in. The number is on the screen 312 738 1060. And today we are joined by Lynn Searman from the Heartland Alliance, who's here to help us answer any questions. Lynn, thank you for being here. Thanks for having me. Sure, sure. Um, Let me go ahead and start by putting your information up because we're going to go ahead and talk. Information. We're going to talk a little bit about the Heartland Alliance for Human Needs and Human Rights uh, before we get into the Affordable Care Act. But let me put that up. So there's the website, heartlandalliance.org, and I'll show this again later in the show. But um, tell me a little bit about Heartland Alliance. I know you guys cover and have for a long time covered many different types of things to help people with uh, poverty and Mm -hmm. tough situations. Well, Steve, I think the most important thing to uh, know about Heartland is that we're the leading anti-poverty organization in the Midwest. And believe it or not, we've been around for 125 years. We right now uh, have a budget of $90 million, operating Mm -hmm. budget. We serve Chicago, but we're also in 12 countries around the world. So we're we're quite large. I think we have 1,200 employees in the Chicago area. Yes. So we're good. We're a good-sized organization. Uh, we operate programs as an anti-poverty organization. We're really addressing the basic human needs of housing, human care services, jobs, and justice. And um, Heartland was very excited about getting involved in the Affordable Care Act and being navigators and so forth. Uh, We consider the ACA being the most significant piece of uh, anti-poverty legislation since the war on poverty from the 1960s. Just because uh, health, your health is so important to you and when people have unexpected medical expenses uh, that can't be covered, it can be devastating to the family. Medical un, unpaid medical expenses have been known to be one of the major causes of people going bankrupt in this country. So we've we've been on the bandwagon as soon as the opportunity came along. So now, would you say that when people call in to the main number, that they can pretty much ask for advice on how to navigate signing up for health care and basically how to get started? Well, they can call that number Mm -hmm. and uh, get referred to one of our people at Heartland. Mm -hmm. And also, I want to encourage people to uh, go to the Get Covered Illinois website Mm -hmm. and also the 866 number. Right. We'll show that in just a few minutes. But yeah, I just want to I didn't want to sell you sell you guys short here. You guys can help people by just calling in. But obviously, we're going to talk about other ways that people can sign up more directly. It, it, the thing is, our people are always out helping people. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so sometimes you might call in and somebody might not be there. Uh, the nice thing about the website is you can put in your zip code and you can find events and agencies that can help you, which are convenient to where you live. And, you know, since we're talking about it in the beginning here, let me go over to the website. Now, this is what we're talking about, Get Covered Illinois. And the uh, URL is actually getcoveredillinois.gov. Um what you were just referring to was when you go to the main main page, and I'm going to restart it right here. When you go to the main page, in the right side, I'm going to move down just a little bit. In this right side here, you can see this area, get help in your area. That's mm-hmm. where you will go ahead and click and type in your zip code, mm-hmm. which shows you things that are happening in your area where you can get help in signing up. And then, of course, the website itself has a whole series of information and uh, different drop-down menus that we'll go into in a little bit. And Steve, if I could just add, Heartland is throughout the Chicago area. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm out of the Ravenswood office. Uh, We also are in uh, Inglewood, and we have multiple locations. So uh, when somebody goes into that website, puts in their zip code, uh, they'll see if there are Heartland uh, uh, offices near them where they might be able to get some help. Okay. Now, the Affordable Care Act, it is something that's going to be going into effect, uh, We or has already gone into mm-hmm. effect, the people who signed up right away potentially started getting coverage after January 1st, I believe. Mm-hmm. Um, but we have a deadline coming of March 
31st, uh, just before tax season. And the reason for that is there will be potential penalties right. for people who don't sign up. Mm -hmm. um, so the idea of this show is to try to remind you and encourage you to sign up. But I mean, what, what, what are the reasoning? Uh, what's the reasoning behind why people should have health care? You talked a little bit ago about how expensive things might mm -hmm, get. Mm -hmm. Is that pretty much the thing to worry about is the, the cost of health care if you don't have any coverage? Well, um, first of all, I guess I'd say you need health coverage because it's the law. Yeah. And if you're not insured uh, in 2014, and we can go into the details, uh, you face a penalty of either $95 or 1% of your income, mm -hmm. which is what, whichever is greater. Mm -hmm. So that's a key thing. Uh, the other thing about having health care is whoever knows what's going to happen in life. And it's an insurance policy, like your car insurance, or your house insurance, or whatever. It's protection. And um, when you think about the potential medical expenses, they're huge compared to what kind of costs you might incur if you dent your car or something like mm, that. Mm -hmm. uh, the other thing, too, is that um, uh, just to be for the preventive care is um, free under the uh, policies of, po of the products under the ACA. So for the first time, people uh, can make sure that they're getting their annual checkups and their exams and so forth and uh, not have to worry about the expense. Yeah, one thing that we show on the uh, TV program here is the 10 essential benefits that we, that, we are ha that we have now with the Affordable Care Act. Let me go ahead and show these little chart here and um, you know one of the things you talked about was preventative wellness services mm -hmm. um, obviously you have some newborn care maternity mm -hmm. uh, emergency services is something that you can get mm -hmm. help with now rehabilitative services in case you're recovering from an yes, injury that's important. prescription drugs uh, now that's something now you know a lot of the older generation they will that you're over the age of 65 people will potentially be on uh, Medicare Mm -hmm. And um, that's something where there's a different prescription drug um, option that you mm -hmm. can sign up for and whatnot. But mm -hmm. now, you know, for everybody else signing up for the Affordable Care Act, you have prescription drugs as well. So that's something worth noting. Mm -hmm. Is that something that you think um, was, was, was sorely needed, that uh, there would be some kind of a plan that could help? Uh, regulate the prescription drugs industry or the costs or just make sure everybody can afford it? Well, I think what we're talking about with the ACA is primarily access. Mm -hmm. So you, you don't want people to go and get uh, their preventive screenings and find out they need medication and then not be able to access it. And yeah. so the um, it's not as complicated with Medic as Medicare with different plans and so forth. It's part of the package you get when you get your health insurance. And typically there may be some kind of copay with that, and that'll vary from plan to plan. Mm -hmm. But you're not faced with paying for the full cost of, um, uh, of the medication. Now, let me remind everybody, this is a live call-in show. Uh, we're going to go over the basics in just a second here, but if you have any questions as we're talking, feel free to join the conversation. The number is 312-738-1060, and you can call in right now and talk to Sylvia. She's off the screen here answering phones, so thank you, Sylvia, for your time. Let me go ahead and jump right back into the basics here because I know that we should, we should focus on reminding people that to qualify for the Affordable Care Act, uh, the two the two first steps really are that you must live in the United States and be a U.S. citizen or national or be lawfully present in the United States. So there must be a, a lawfully present reason for yeah. you to be in the United States mm -hmm. and then sign up for it. I think one other thing to know is that if you're going to go to uh, the Get Covered Illinois website, you have to live in Illinois. Mm-hmm. So if you're in a different state, uh, you'll have to do a little research and see what is the website in that particular state. Exactly, uh, exactly. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, our audience right now, uh, you could be watching online, but our broadcast audience through television is watching within the city of Chicago. So oh, this, okay. this does apply to everybody right here, getcoveredillinois.gov. Mm -hmm. okay. And then, of course, you can call the main number for Illinoisans, which is 866 311 one 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 nine. If you have any questions about how to sign up, or if you want to figure out how to meet a navigator in mm -hmm. person, uh, there are 
people all over the city who are meeting with people, explaining the mm -hmm. options, explaining how to sign up, right. talking about the numbers. It's the individual's choice as to what they want to mm -hmm. take part in, but there's a lot of people talking. Have, have you been sitting down with people throughout the city? Do you have, have you been going to community meetings or anything? Well, uh, right now I'm managing a team of uh, 14 navigators. Okay. So they're either in the office uh, answering phone calls. Usually we'll do a little bit by phone, but more typically people will make an appointment and mm. people can come in then and not be, you know, having to feel like they have to rush or anything because they're on the phone. So that the best way to do everything is through a face-to-face -face interaction. Mm -hmm. So when you call that 866 number, you can find out uh, what offices you might be able to go visit and talk to someone. Um, like our office is on there, and typically we'll have I'll have people just come to the office, and I get a phone call, and someone's downstairs uh, wanting some assistance. Uh, a number of the federally qualified health centers clinics are um, have people who can help people sign up with for insurance uh, and so again you tell the zip code it'll direct you to what centers you might be able to go to mm -hmm. uh, but then the other thing is is that we are uh, we are one of 44 uh, agencies that were funded by the state to provide navigators mm -hmm. and for the month of March we're going to be having a lot of events in the evening and weekends because we know that people are working it's hard to um, get help during the day you can't take time off from work so we're really trying and the best place again to find out where those events are would be the 866 number again tell them the day uh, evening weekend whenever you want to be uh, what's your zip code and they can give you choices in terms of where to go and let me show that real quick again the number is one eight six six three one 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 nine again that's eight six six three one 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 nine it's an easy way to get in touch uh, to talk a little bit about how to sign up to figure out what's happening in your area and one of the possibilities might be Heartland Alliance mm -hmm. and uh, here's your your home office again right now um, so 14 different navigators I'm sure that there's all kinds of stories you've heard I'm sure that they've probably heard most kinds of questions that anybody can come up with but I'm sure a lot of times people are trying to figure out how to get their family covered or mm -hmm. their own personal situation varies from anybody else yeah I think one thing that we're finding is that um, and that was the intention of the ACA is people are coming to us who haven't had insurance before. Mm -hmm. And that can be very bewildering because the uh, the terminology, what's the deductible, what's co-insurance mm -hmm. versus co-pays, um, it's really hard to uh, educate yourself. Uh, and that's why it's good to meet with a navigator, especially if you've been just kind of paying paying as you go or going to a clinic and paying on a sliding scale. Uh, you need to be familiar with the insur uh, insurance terminology and also understand the benefits that you don't have to keep worrying about, you know, having to pay each time you go, uh, that you're paying that premium, but then that allows you to take access all of the services that you had put up on the screen, Steve. Mm -hmm. uh, and take them when you need it without having to worry about paying for that specific service. Right, right. Mm -hmm. One quick reminder, this is a live show. We are, uh, the clock is ticking. We have a little, little over 10 minutes to go in the show. If you have any questions before we're off the air, the number is 312-738-1060. The number's on the screen right there. Mm -hmm. I'm going to show the website real quick again. Now, you just mentioned uh, terminology. Now, the Get Covered Illinois site, there is a drop-down menu right over here called Get Answers, and I want to show that one of those sections here is called Glossary, and this is a great area to kind of go through any of these terms that might not make sense right away. Uh, obviously, talking to a navigator would help make mm -hmm. sense of these terms, but if you do want to do a little research on your own about what exactly some of this means, there is a whole series of different things to find on mm -hmm. the website here for you. You know, Steve, you were asking me, you know, 
what experiences we've been having. And just, just this week, I had talked to a couple of our navigators, and I thought there were some very heartwarming stories of people that have been helped through the ACA. Uh, we have one example of a gentleman who uh, had a pre-existing condition. He had it by his insurance through the uh, state high-risk fund, and he was paying $600 a month for his premium. Hmm. Uh, now he is he was able to buy insurance on the marketplace and will only be paying $150. I know another gentleman, he's, he's uh, up, in, up in age, uh, is 64, uh, and he was paying uh, premiums of 1500 a month. Hmm. And he's been able to actually, he uh, was out of work and was struggling to pay the premium. He thought he had no choice. And he qualified actually for Medicaid with his uh, income and uh, is not paying anything right now. Wow. So it really helps him, you know, make ends meet, not to have to worry about his health care. So really going and talking to somebody can lead to a whole different type of system of access. Mm -hmm. for anybody mm -hmm. individually. Yeah. I think one more, if we have a minute. Mm -hmm. uh, another uh, gentleman, uh, he was diagnosed with testicular cancer and then lost his job. Hmm. And that could have been so devastating because how could he get insurance uh, and that sort of thing. And he was able to qualify for Medicaid because he, and he couldn't really uh, take on the company's COBRA because mm -hmm. he didn't have any income. So since he didn't have the income, he did qualify for Medicaid. Uh, and one of the wonderful things was he was already in care. And though his provider was not a regular Medicaid provider, mm -hmm. the provider uh, agreed to accept Medicaid in this case so he could continue getting his care. Mm. So there's just so many stories of where people think they're you know, going to face devastation, and you can turn to the Affordable Care Act and get the care you need at very reasonable prices. That's great to hear. Yeah. Let me go ahead and um, show one important detail, not the website, I'm going to that says March 31st, 2014. Uh, this, is a, this is a day that is looming. That's a day where the marketplace closes. Um, it, temporarily until October or November when the next round comes. But if you do not sign up before the state, uh, you could face that penalty with your April taxes. Uh, generally, we talked a little bit ago about the, the price of what that fee would be, the penalty fee. Now, you said $95 or 1% of your income. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, if I do my math correctly here, $95... Uh, for 100% of income, would be not $9,500 mm -hmm. a year. So anybody earning over $9,500 a year would pay more than the $95 penalty. So it's actually, right. it's actually most people would pay more than $95. Oh well, yes, definitely. Yeah. And then you're just paying a penalty and not getting any of the benefit of getting your health care needs covered. Right. So, so it's if, kind of money down the drain. It it is. It is. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, if you do, let's say you earn $25,000 mm -hmm. in the year, that could be a $250 penalty off your taxes. Right, right. So it's important to keep that in mind. It's not mm -hmm. just $95. Right. Now, this penalty obviously would go up next year. Yes, uh, and, yes, you know, it does. We're, we're in the mm -hmm. 2014. Mm -hmm. In 2015, it's going to go up even more. So there really is a lot of incentive here to sign up. Yeah. So if you're going to spend the money, why don't you get some health care along with it? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. You know, to that to that effect, I'm going to go back to our uh, one of my favorite sheets here, which is the sheet that highlights the benefits that you get. And let me cover the other side mm -hmm. real quick here, too. You can get some help with dental and vision for children. Uh, that could be very helpful because we do know that it costs a lot of money to get mm -hmm. new glasses mm -hmm. and all the things that add up. Mental health and substance abuse treatment. Uh, that's that's a new one, actually. Mm -hmm. That's that's mm -hmm. pretty important. Yes, very. Yeah. And um, hospital visits, of course, that can really cost money too. Am ambulance uh, or ambulatory patient services, and then of course lab work. Mm -hmm. I don't know if anybody's ever gotten the bill for lab work before, but there could be some serious pricing going on mm -hmm. in there mm -hmm. too. Right. Uh, looks like we have one call. No, or not not yet. I'm going to go ahead and show your information one more time because I want to. I really want to highlight what you guys are doing there too. Now mm -hmm. you've been around for 
125 years yeah. at the Heartland Alliance. Yeah. yeah. So, and Actually, the um, our oldest, we have other, uh, within the umbrella of Heartland, we do mm -hmm. have a variety of uh, the departments or companies. And Traveler's Aid at O'Hare is a Heartland organization, and they've been around for 125 years. Mm-hmm. That's amazing. So, yeah, yeah. And um, I, you know, we I see the name Heartland Alliance with uh, synonymous with a lot of guest lecturing, and mm -hmm. you know, you guys obviously have a lot of uh, research studies going on too. So I think a lot of people have probably come across your name. Right, right. Very, very extended across all of Chicago. Right. We we invest a lot in advocacy, mm -hmm. so we're constantly we have people in Washington and in Springfield lobbying for uh, legislation that. Uh, really uh, works at the causes as well as the cures of uh, poverty. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Oh, no, feel free. Uh, I was just going to go back to the deadline just mm -hmm. a little bit. The um, I want people to understand that it's not too late. As Steve is saying, uh, you do have up to March 31st. However, I would advise strongly do not wait till March 31st mm -hmm. because we are really expecting that some of the problems that were with the website back in October mm -hmm. will probably start occurring because we'll have so many millions point. of people. And people here in Illinois have been um, trying to inform themselves on what happened in Massachusetts because the what we're doing nationwide now is modeled after that, mm -hmm. and everybody waited to the last minute in Massachusetts. So, oh boy! <laughs> so um, the website will be extremely slow. There'll be long lines at mm -hmm. these events. So, uh, do not wait. Try to sign up before the last two weeks. That would be ideal. Mm -hmm. And please take advantage of uh, the events that are going to be evenings and weekends all over the city. So whatever you need to do to find the cure for procrastinating, uh, this is a great, great time to do it. You don't want to, you don't want to deal with the hassle of waiting. That's the date. So you don't want to push it all the way up until that last date to sign up. Uh, we're a little over a month away, so now is the time to take a look. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna remind everybody, it is getcoveredillinois.org where you can get this whole thing going. Uh, right on the front page, you have this green section here that you can click that says see your options and it's this great little beginning here where you can hit the let's get started section and start filling out a little bit of a questionnaire that helps you figure out exactly where you're going to go. Are you signing up for yourself? Are you signing up for yourself with somebody who lives with you? Uh, someone who does not live with you or for your small business? Uh, businesses mostly want to focus on next year's sign up mm -hmm. uh, but this year for the individuals this is a good way to get the whole thing started Again, it's Get Covered Illinois is where you go. And just to show you one more time, the looming 14, we're a little over a month away, so there's not much time left to get this done. Um, we're in our last minute here, so let me just ask you, do you have any last, uh, last, high, uh, last points that you want to leave our audience with? Um, just health care is, is priceless. It's so important to have. It's uh, you don't know when you need it, but when you need it, uh, you really do need it. Uh, so take advantage of this opportunity to have the coverage you've maybe never had before. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for so many years, uh, you know, you've heard people talk about how you wish that America there was a healthcare system mm -hmm. that worked, that there was something, and 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 here's the beginning of it. It's mm -hmm. uh, a little clunky in its beginning. It might get clunky right around March 31st. So let's try to sign up as fast as you can here mm -hmm. and let me just put your information one more time Lynn Searman from the Heartland Alliance thank you for taking the time to join us today and uh, we certainly wish you and your 14 navigators mm -hmm. that you work with all the best of luck great and uh, thank you for being here yeah thank you so much Steve for letting Heartland come and talk to you about the ACA mm -hmm. and uh, again I'm Steve Nicotopoulos for KNTV Chicago thanks to Sylvia Snowden on phones We'll be back next week with another edition of Understanding Healthcare. Have a good night.